Oh, that took a while. So if you're here and can read, you've probably just heard the news of Windcraft's news update dropping. Based on the trailers and information we've been given, there seems to be a bit of an overarching theme of making everything feel a lot more cosmetic, cartoony, however you want to describe it, it just looks more aesthetic. There's new models, the interface looks very different, and you can now get chased by anatomically accurate spiders. <sighs> to start off the update, I decided to check out if there were any changes to the tutorial. The first thing I noticed was that there's a new info bar with the HP and name of entities. Personally, I think this is a very much needed change because it isn't very easily blendable with particles like it used to be, and certain mobs definitely made it hard to see. <coughs> Ice bears. You've probably noticed it already, but there's a giant diamond icon above NPCs now when you do quests and or certain tasks. I would say it's a good change, but after playing a bit, I did find it a little wonky because it does track the player's movement and that can get a little distracting. I think it'd be better if you just used the beacon and maybe only had it appear when you're super close. Just my opinion. One other change I noticed was that they had added icons for the mouse clicks needed to progress or interact with different stuff in the world. It's a nice little change. I appreciate it. Now, for the main reason I'm playing. Cows! Okay, this is the one thing that I was looking for. Don't... Don't block me. They have udders. Okay, that's not the re- <laughs> Besides the cows, some of the mobs were a little, uh... <laughs> Why does it look stoned? Sorry, I, someone had to say it. Now, besides them looking different, I absolutely adore the new little animation movements that mobs and NPCs now have. For example, in this cutscene, you can see the little head movements of the guard slowly lifting up and then having the rest of the character's body gradually rise instead of it just immediately being in a standing position. There's also mob death animations and fight entrances. However, all good things must come to an end. Oh, ew. Ew, 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 ew. Can someone tell me why we decide to add leg movements to these things? I want an answer. I really do. Because I'm I'm feeling a little grossed out. I mean, look at it. Look at it. Double it and pass it off to the next update, please. All right, moving on. The trade market, bank, shopkeepers, etc. They all got a nice little revamp. Not a huge fan of the market, but everything else, I mean, it, it just looks way nicer. Now, there weren't any changes to, like, chests or any of the loot running stuff. Not any that I could notice. Besides the GUI slash general cosmetic changes, there was a big emphasis on dungeons and raids being revamped. This was my first experience with those new dungeons. It looks very different, I will say. In a good way. Oh, are those cockroaches? Ew! 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 ew they fly! They fly! Okay, I'm out. Oh, they changed the staircase slightly. This is the part I'm probably most excited for, because apparently they changed pretty much all the boss designs. I'm, I'm hoping they have new abilities, but let's see. Oh my gosh. Oh, that's so cool. looks so fluid. This is like completely different. Oh my god, oh my god. This is like a skinwalker. This boss fight is so much harder now. Ooh, that was close. Uh, oh, okay, broke its head. Ew, 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 ew. Uh, We're so close. All right. Wow. So overall, I mean, they seem to be pretty similar, except for the massive change in boss fights and, you know, the slight renovations of pre-existing builds. Either way, I mean, I like it. I'm not mad at it. Now that dungeons are out of the way, let's talk about world events. I have been begging for these for so long. Did we ever see world bosses, like the one in the Wind Plains, uh, sort of added 
in the future. Uh, yeah. Thank you, Salted. So world events are these little instances that happen at specific times throughout locations all across the world. There's also major world events, which are the ones we were shown in the trailers. So far, there's only one of those, but they do plan on adding more in the future. For world events, the only requirements that I've personally seen are that you have to finish a certain quest or be around the recommended level of the event. I'm pretty sure you can still take part in the world event, you just will probably die. <laughs> As for content, world events are based around sort of like swarms, where there's a wave of mobs that attack the player before eventually releasing a boss to defeat. One amazing feature, which I know some people might be mad at, is that it scales the difficulty of mobs to the highest level player of a party. I had to find that out the hard way. Ooh, my HP, my HP. <laughs> yeah, so when it scales, it really scales. <laughs> the loot, on the other hand, is actually very much worth it, I will say, because it does give you dungeon keys, runes, somehow it gives you fabled items, and it also gives crafting ingredients. Overall, I'm pretty happy with world events. My only gripe would be... <laughs> it could be a little repetitive, since, you know, all the ones that I've seen personally so far have been combat-related at the time of recording. Maybe they'll add more in the future that are non-combat, but either way, I mean, it's pretty new, so I, I, I'm cutting it some slack. Before anyone gets mad, yes, I know there's a few things that I didn't get to, like raids and aspects, but I'll try them in another video. Also, quickly, I have to mention that there was a revamp of the Party Finder a whole bunch of new major IDs were added to the game, some abilities were reworked for class archetypes, and loot running now has new missions and apparently random events happen. I don't really delve into that side of the game, but there's the info if you wanted it. If I had to give a score to the update from what I've seen, I think I'd give it an 8. For what I liked, I'm happy with the much needed changes to the looks of the game, and the changes to the bosses that make them actually difficult and varied in their attacks. And all in all, I would say the update just makes the world feel a lot more complete and filled. The only reason I would dog points <laughs> is due to the world events feeling a little, just a little, boring. And teleportation scrolls are now crap. I only have two minutes to get there. Uh, do I have a Nessex scroll? Okay, I do, I do, I do. What? I have to wait four seconds? What do you mean? Ugh. Besides that, great update.